Hi, this is Remy from the Applications team. In this tutorial, you will learn a method to perform the segmentation of individual fiber in images. In the process, we will also see some advanced techniques related to the fiber center load tracing and how to perform a precise visual assessment of the tracing quality, which is helpful for fine tuning the parameters. The ability to fully segment individual fibers open possibility to extract complementary quantitative information, such as their volume and surface area, or to estimate contact between fibers. I will assume here that you are already familiar with the X-Fiber extension. If this is not the case, you may be interested to follow the corresponding tutorial first. In the following, we will use a small sub-volume from a glass fiber reinforced plastic, which you can download from the provided link. You will find there an archive with a dataset and a few associated files and projects which will help you reproduce the explanation from this tutorial. We start by loading the glass fiber image dataset. It is a small sub-volume from a micro CD scanned at 2.5 micrometers resolution. While the image resolution is sufficient to distinguish each fiber, their segmentation as individual object is extremely challenging using standard techniques. A direct thresholding, such as obtained with an interactive threshold module, may be sufficient to get a reasonable binary representation of the fibers, but the separate object module would not be able to provide a good partitioning. We'll therefore use a different strategy to obtain a label map of the fibers, relying of course on the fiber center line tracing that we can obtain from the X-Fiber extension. This center line tracing starts with the computation of the correlation between a cylindrical template and the image with the cylinder correlation module. Since this module requires a CUDA device to run and may take a bit of computational time, we will just load here the corresponding project from the downloaded archive. Let's have a quick look at the parameters. The cylinder radius can of course be directly measured from the images. Because fibers are relatively densely packed, the mask radius should not be too much larger compared to the fiber radius. Finally, although the fibers are very straight in this sample, I chose to have only a moderately long template so that I still have a chance to capture some fragments of broken fibers which we can see here and there. By looking at the correlation field in this way, with color wash, you can already see that the cylinder correlation did a pretty good job at detecting fibers. We can notice there are a few areas where the correlation is relatively high, whereas there are clearly no fibers present. However, before applying the tracing algorithm, absolutely nothing prevents us from modifying the correlation field. In particular, we can here apply the binary fiber mask we obtained by thresholding to prevent any fibers to be traced in those areas. Now the center line tracing stage can be performed using the mask correlation and the orientation field. You may try setting the corresponding parameters by yourself or check against the value proposed in the project file. I used here a relatively low value for the minimum seed correlation. In practice, I observed that otherwise I had some missing fibers. Thanks to the masking of the correlation field, I was also able to go to a relatively low value for the continuation quality, which helps to get to the extremities of fibers. Since short glass fibers remain very straight, I use a search cone with a narrow aperture angle and further use a low value for the direction coefficient so that I enforce straightness of the tracing and limit the chances that tracing may jump on a neighboring fiber when reaching an extremity. In order to visually assess the quality of the tracing and also to fine-tune the previous parameters, a good practice is to convert the spatial graph representing the trace center line into a voxel representation. This can be done using the module Convert Geometry to Label. 
By connecting the reference image, we will use the same image grid, bounding box and voxel size to voxelize the spatial graph. We also select label output in order to assign the fiber ID as the label in the resulting image. This should help us for the visual assessment, but also for our ultimate goal of labeling in dual fibers and extracting statistics. Now, we can overlay the voxelized fibers centerline onto an auto slice using a color wash module, and therefore examine precisely the result of the tracing. You may want to change the label color map to label 256, so that there are less chances that neighboring fibers are given the same color. Once we have a binary mask for all fibers and individual markers for each of them, we have all the necessary data to perform the fiber segmentation. One simple approach could be to use a dilation module with a structuring element of adequate size and to mask the result with a binary mask of fibers. Another approach that I illustrate here is to use the module marker based watershed inside mask to grow the centerline markers within the limits of the binary mask and let the watershed algorithm find the optimal boundaries based on image grayscale intensity data. Once we have such a label map of fibers, we can of course visualize it in different ways. We may also use the label analysis module to compute complementary statistics about each fiber, such as a volume or surface area. And since we use the same object ID between the label image and the spatial graph, it is possible to combine the information from label analysis with the statistics obtained from the spatial graph statistics module. For example, if you combine the 3D volume with a curved lens, you can estimate more accurately an average fiber diameter. Some of the most straightforward combinations are actually already accessible directly through the module Fiber Shape Statistics, which embeds exactly the technique presented here. From the label image, you may also identify contact areas between fibers by using the Label Interfaces module or by using generate surface and looking at the corresponding patches. Thank you for following this tutorial and goodbye.